That's serious. Who's got a question for one of the guys? Caleb, can you talk about, that sure seemed like the swim of the week for you. Um, can you talk about what was behind that post-race celebration? Um, well, Bobby didn't make it easy for me. <laughs> so, I think a lot of pressure was on me. That was a final freestyle swim for UF. So I had a lot of pressure. I wanted to win that one. That was the that was a clean sweep. So um, I'm really happy with the time. Really happy with the time. I thought it was gonna be around one three, one four tonight. So cleaned up some things from this morning, and it just kind of kind of came out. Yeah. Bobby, how about you? Um, what are your thoughts, just in general, on the week you had, um, getting onto the World Senior Two events and the chance to race those European guys in a few weeks oh, or a few months? Two events? That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I, <laughs> uh, uh, it was fun. I had a, I had a good time racing a mile. Um, Eight hundred, I took it out pretty, just like controlled. Um, you know, just nice, and, <laughs> just nice and relaxed for like the first four hundred, and then I tried to pick it up a little bit. Um, it worked out pretty well. I didn't fully negative split it. I think it was off by two tenths. At least I was sold by Kieran. Yeah. I think it was three tenths. Three tenths. <laughs> see, and see, is Caleb ever trained in your lane? We, mm, mm, no. We've gone head to head before. Yeah. It was an IM set. That was actually a good set. It'd be okay. like a warm up. <laughs> All jokes aside, what was the. It was a pyramid IM set. Oh, when I came back Bobby's from COVID? Back. <laughs> no, don't yeah, I came what back from COVID. Oh, get out, get out. I don't know what <laughs> Get in here, get in here. Get in here. Okay. We're adding Katie Wadecki to this oh. interview. This is too much star power. <laughs> now let's give him some air, guys. <laughs> Are they behaving themselves? No. no. <laughs> Caleb says he trains in the distance right. lane. True or false? I did not say that. We've been in the same lane. We had more down. Actually, it was, it was mid. It was mid group that day. Oh yeah, Bobby actually was training down. So he was tired because he had COVID. That's what it was. <laughs> <laughs> they don't know what to say. This is where to Gabe. This is too much. It's too much. <laughs> Team USA. You Katie, guess. how'd you feel about the mile tonight? <laughs> it was all right. Um, I don't know. There's not too much to say about it. Uh, I dove in and like I didn't really feel my stroke uh, tonight, so I'm um, not super happy about that. But I felt good all week, so I know that there's still a lot there. What do you attribute that to, and how can how do you correct that? The not feeling your stroke, not being really in rhythm there at the end of you know a, a long meet. Yeah, it's, I mean, I think it's just from being at the end of the week, and um, it's fine. I mean, I'm still working on a lot, so I think I've been developing these things and kind of have the tools in the toolbox, but still learning how to use them. So um, just putting it all together, I think I can, can do it in a couple months. What, are you, what have you learned from training with these guys? Uh, I mean, I think I said it the other day, like, we just have a lot of fun, and I mean, Bobby during taper is hilarious. Like I think um, before SECs, after one practice with the uh, gloves. Oh, the gloves. So we were swimming with like latex gloves for warm up, and Bobby spent the whole rest of practice really filling like, up the guys he was just throwing gloves. the gloves. Yeah. Yeah. And I told Nasty after practice, I was like, Bobby needs to swim the mile right now. <laughs> Unfortunately, you didn't get to swim anything at no, SECs. No. Oh. But, um, yeah, I don't know. It's just a great environment. Um, I don't know. I don't participate in all the antics all the time, but it's funny to watch and definitely puts a smile on my face. So um, it's just a really fun environment. Does Bobby sandbag ever in practice? Every and then race he's ever done. <laughs> and then sprint the every, last 50? Every race what, what was the last 50? Who's the Sammy Save-Up? 9-9. Oh, I got you. Yeah, yeah. You're so mad. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. I'm just going to say, Bobby's technically the slowest swimmer. <laughs> I was waiting for this. I've been waiting to say, and this was the right time. That's a fact. He's the slowest swimmer on the team. He's he can do it for a long period of time, but he is the slowest swimmer. That's a fact. He, he's been saying this since last year. Yeah. Last year. <laughs> well, what, what was your second fifty in uh, hundred feet this, at this meet? It wasn't good. It wasn't. It wasn't good. It was so faster than. <laughs> it was so faster than yours. I was five one. I'm gonna sandbag at world just to, just just to come back. What do you think you could actually be holding if you? Caleb's uh, doing the interview right now. <laughs> yeah, give me. I think you should do all your interviews like this. What could you be holding if you sandbag the whole first seven? I'd probably be home slower to be honest. <laughs> Ask Katie. Spoken like a true distance swimmer. Like <laughs> 
Um, <laughs> this is tough. I've never been on this side of it. You, did you or did you not come home faster than Bobby in the 800 to hit his mile? I, I, I mentioned it. Okay. I did. Well, that's the only question I, I could think of. <laughs> um, I got nothing. Okay. Thanks, Anyone guys. Else? <laughs> Bye. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Uh -huh.